Thank you. Um, I'm really excited to show you three different Adobe applications all working together on the iPad Pro. The first of which is Adobe Comp. And Comp is a design tool that's as easy to use as drawing on a napkin. So by creating an X on the left hand side of the screen, I'm creating an image placeholder. We have uh, gestures for headline copy, body copy. We can very quickly lay out a rough design. These elements are temporarily grouped together so I can adjust them as a group. And so I've gone from nothing to a rough wireframe in about 15 seconds. Um, from there, I want to add real fonts, make this a little bit more high fidelity. This is the first time on a mobile device we've given access to typekit fonts. We have over 1,000 fonts available. So I'm going to go ahead and select this headline text. I'm going to change my copy to be ruby red, which is uh, the theme for this design. And I'm going to apply some styles to my body copy as well, a simple gesture to copy styles from other objects. And lastly, I want to add a photo from my camera roll. So I've got a rough design here. I'm pretty happy with it, but I'm not quite happy with the model smile. I wish she had just a little bit more of a smile. Um, I think it'd warm up the design quite a bit, but luckily we have an app for that. So I'm gonna go into multitasking mode, and um, multitasking is amazing on the new iPad Pro. Side by side, it's like having two screens. And I'm gonna send this image from Comp into a brand new application called Adobe Photoshop Fix. And Fix is a product we're announcing today. It's a member of the Photoshop family for retouching. Um, and it's insanely fast on the new iPad. It can process up to 50 megapixel images very, very fast. And has all the features you'd expect of an app that's part of the Photoshop family. But something not even Photoshop on the desktop can do is we built facial detection into the retouching engine. So if I select the model's lips, for example, I can isolate those and just give her just a little bit more of a smile. <laughs> And then I can send that change back to comp. So for the last app, I'm gonna open up Adobe Photoshop Sketch, which is our painting and drawing application. And with Sketch, we've really tuned it to work with Apple Pencil. It's, it's incredible. And with our new watercolor tool, if you use the pencil on its side, you're laying down more water and less pigment. If I use it upright and press harder, I'm laying down more pigment and less water. And you can see it blending in real time. At any point, I can click this button here to dry that. I'm gonna go ahead and copy this close out of multitasking, and then paste this back into my comp document. So with a couple other small tweaks, I'm gonna finish up this design. And it looks pretty good. I went from a blank page to a design in just a few minutes using three different applications together. But I think the most impressive thing out of all this is all this work is non-destructive. So at any point, if I put three fingers down on the screen, I can scrub back in my history, back to my blank document, and then all the way back to my final design. So you never have to worry about making a mistake or losing your work. It's all safe here. So that was Adobe Comp, Photoshop Fix, and Photoshop Sketch. And at Adobe, we're making tools that are powerful enough for professionals and easy enough for anyone to use. Um, this workflow is only available on the iPad when we'll be shipping in October. Thank you. Thank you.